Well, since you're gonna go ahead and pour me up, we might as well get this thing started, man. <laughs> Let me read this. Bell, let another black market. Oh, we open. live? We live? Oh, we live? officially. Once we you live? Get, you know what that sound means? <laughs> you don't know what that means? Hey, it's, it that means, means it's big money on the floor. <laughs> you remember like, when Dollar Bill like Wall came into the, into the dress room and was like, what the fuck y'all doing down here? Get money on the floor. That's exactly what this means. <laughs> Exactly what this mean, man. Welcome back to the Black Market, presented by the 85 South Show. Yes, indeed. That's where we go find the dopest people in the world who doing dope shit under their own, what they call it, recognizance. Nah, I'm just saying independent, black-owned businesses, man. You know, shit, everybody don't be black, though. <laughs> we done had a few minorities sneak off in here, man. So I guess we just gonna have, to, it's the black market, but everybody's welcome, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, welcome, welcome. Thanks, welcome man. Thanks, Carlos. Thanks, 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 thanks. None thanks other than my man Charles Stevens. How you living? I'm great, man. I'm great. Thanks for having me, man. Man, thanks, thanks for being here. Shit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, shit, you oh. had to come tell these people about this dope ass product. Of course, you got. we're from Montreal, Canada, man. But man, yeah. what you doing in America? Let me see your passport. <laughs> <laughs> Who's starting all the damn fires up there, man? Trust me, I'm le I'm legal. I'm legal. I'm straight. I'm straight. Man, I'm straight. I didn't even know they had real black people in Canada. Where you never been? You never been? I've been to Canada. Okay, so I seen a lot of Africans and shit. No, no, no. There's a big, actually, there's a big diaspora like from yeah. Africa, from the Caribbean. Exactly. Uh, a whole bunch of runaway slaves and shit. <laughs> but you know what? My family came from uh, uh, from Haiti, uh, like in the 70s. Bro, Haitians and really Haiti, be everywhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Except Haiti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have family basically. I have family in Montreal, Toronto, New York, Boston. Uh, Atlanta, Miami, and LA. Like oh, okay. that's that's you know. So, but yeah, man, it's uh, that's a whole path. Now that yeah. I think about it, that's a straight line. Yeah, all the way to Mexico. <laughs> 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 but yeah, so that's the yeah, so that's basically where the the idea from LS came from because it's from my my heritage, right? From uh, you know, cremas is something that my grandmother used to do every holiday. Hold up, let's go back because yeah. we didn't skipped over the whole product, bro. Let them know exactly what For it sure. is that you're selling. Um, LS cream. It's a cream liquor, like, you know, Irish creams? Yes. We're, we're tossing that to the side. Oh, it ain't Irish no more. This <laughs> it ain't Asian. Irish no more. Oh, hell yeah. I love it already. <laughs> so what we did, we did a cream liquor inspired by Asian cremas. And basically, cremas is a recipe from Haiti that everybody, every family has their take on it, but it's homemade. Right. And it's, uh, you know, uh, coconut, cinnamon, vanilla, and um, uh, nutmeg all together. So it's really like, it's more like a chai sort of mix, you know, and, okay. and it's... Uh, but it will have you on your ass if you drink it, but, a lot. But listen, this is gluten-free, all natural ingredients, low in lactose also. So when you're going to drink this, you're not going to, your stomach is not going to be hurting. Uh, people love it. You can make mixes with this. And basically, we're selling across the U.S. right now. I got to ask the blackest question I can think of right now. If I bought this bottle, how much of this I got to drink to get towed up? Uh, about three glasses. You'll be oh, good. Oh, uh, that's see, now you're talking. Because you just skipped over all the liquor and started yeah. talking about nothing. This is 17%. <laughs> this is 17%. But especially if you make a cocktail with this, and people, put, you know, the people that tag us on, on social media, they put this in the Starbucks coffee with no shame. Going to work. I do not condone this, but I'm just I saying. Do. The hell? Yeah, drink black liquor at work. They've been doing it. They've been sneaking vodka and water bottles for the long. Get you some of this Haitian liquor. You know, but yeah. So basically, we wanted to make an alternative to to the Irish creams that everybody know. You know, on the shelf. So you know, like, and basically be on the shelf right next to the big boys. Yeah. And just you know, g give an alternative in the category. Is this a summertime drink? It's an uh, all-year-round drink. So in the summer, people, they do, like, mudslides, yeah. uh, pina coladas with this. 
uh, during the fall. It's going to be more like, you know, the pum pumpkin spice inspired stuff. Yeah. And that's where you're going to make a killing. Yeah, for some no, I, reason. Mean, I mean, there's a variation. People bake with this. People make cheesecakes with this, uh, Asian cakes, whatever cakes with this, uh, cupcakes. You know, um, so um, yeah, cookies, whatever. It's it's a very versatile product. I think the 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 most important thing about it is that there was never a, min a, a black owned version of a cream liqueur. So everybody heard about vodkas, gins, and so forth, right? But cream, we're pretty much just the only game in town, you know. Bert, what a cups, man! We got all these black people in here. I want to drink liquor with black people. So, so, so that's yours? You got yours? your own cups, too? So that's yours? This mine? No, so, I want... Uh, the, you know, we got people? a studio okay, full of okay, black people. Man, I feel like this is a black-ass moment. I want to invite this everybody to come have feel some. Free and pass around the ice, too. Come on. And we'll, we'll have a toast. Yeah, now, tell okay, me how okay. you got started in the, in the business. Of yeah, so basically, I was always an entrepreneur. But, like, specifically for this, it was really, like, um, I remember... I was at a family function with my wife, and I was looking at this homemade bottle of cremas, basically, you know? And I was looking at it, I was like, I've been looking at this bottle for all my life, basically, because every holidays, you know, the family would be doing it and, and so forth. So I'm like, I bet that if we take the taste of cremas and we put it in the form of a traditional cream, like, and we mix the two together, like, and we put it on the shelf, people would like it. How did you go from idea to right here on the table. Yeah, so that's the, the, the tricky part, right? So basically, once you go into the liquor business, that's when you understand um, all the gatekeepers and all mm. the, the, the story about liquor and whatever. And mind you, I am aware of the stigmatization of liquor in our community, right. which you know is not always seen on a positive light. But at the end of the day, it's still a business like any others. And we spend so much money in that business, I think it's only right that we have our feet in it, Come you on. know? So, so th that's, that to me, that's the way that I see it. So, so all of that to say, um, once you have an idea to come to the liquor business... I know it's good, because they didn't even wait. I thought we was going to do a toast or something. <laughs> Y'all going to be the drunk it up before we even get to the... <laughs> hold, hold it. Ain't nobody told you to taste nothing yet. Come on, I saw somebody give up to man, give me a little bit more of that. Man, hey. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> and y'all make sure Javier drunk ass gets something, too. Oh, wow. That's my little drunk partner, man. <laughs> he be trying to get through his work first. Oh, so he's, he never, he's not even gonna, gonna deny it. He's right. not gonna deny it. No, he's not. <laughs> I love that little dude. Every time we go somewhere, we got too much liquor. Javier be like, shit, I take some. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, we celebrating the day, man. So yeah. yeah, we want everybody to no problem, man. Indulge, man. So tell me about yeah. Canada, bro. You know, like I said earlier, we don't get to hear too much from the black people up there. Way. Yeah, I mean, it's funny because we hear everything about you guys. Y'all ain't tell us <laughs> shit. So when, uh, like, give you an example of the culture up in Canada is like when you watch the news. Yeah. On TV, for example, like the first the first segment is actually going to be about what's going on with politics over here. Most of that and, shit be lies. You know that, right? Yeah, but like, okay. don't, so basically what it is is because uh, the U.S. is such a big country, it has so much influence on what happens in Canada. That's the reason why, like, any type of, you know. So basically, everything that you guys consume, we consume over there also, whether it's, it'll be 85 South, for example. Were like, they watching it? Of course. Don't you got analytics? And Come on, man. I didn't. I'm talking about the streets, man. Fuck them uh, You analytics. guys ever did a show in Toronto? No. That's your loss. We tripping. That's your loss. Stay it. Write it down. Yes, sir. <laughs> Put Canada on our hit list. Yeah. A hundred percent. Robin, you going to have some? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, you got to ask the ladies, bro. They, of course. You know. You never know with these ladies. A big shout out to the poor minds also. So the girls from poor minds Bruh, also. Don't you just love them? I heard you've been over there. What took you so long to get on the black market? <laughs> Were y'all so gentle with this ice? <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, you ain't gonna have nothing to toast with. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Calm your asses. <laughs> okay. You know? Okay. I got you. <laughs> So, man, where is, where is your product available? 
Uh, pretty much everywhere. Like, um, like in stores, we're in 12 states right now. Uh, but we can ship pretty much like in all the states. Um, so just to let you know how it works is you have the bottle, for example, but it's not because you have the product that you can sell it in a state, right? You need a distributor, mm. and the distributor are all white owned. Right. So they're already family, you know, they're family from generation to generation. So that's the, the problem with this industry right now you that we're finding. You might have to hire some white people to make it look like the front. <laughs> hire the white folks, send them over there to do the bidding. <laughs> And then when they be like, who's in charge? They be like, I am. Yeah. And like, what? You tricked us. <laughs> we got to start using racism to our advantage. Yeah. It's hard to do that with social media these days. Right. Because <laughs> right. they, they always know what's behind the product. But I think also it's a testament because, you know, even if it's a joke or whatever, like, I, I'm proud of, you know, what me and my wife has built, like, as a brand. And I want to showcase that. And it's funny because an investor told us that. He's like, or you're never going to succeed, you need to put, instead of putting your wife in, in the ads, you need to put a white woman with blonde eyes and uh, with blonde hair and blue, <laughs> blue eyes. This the investor saying? One, one, an investor, like in the past. You he know, probably like, ain't one. good at investing because he's <laughs> sleeping on some good shit. I already know how it goes. Ryan, you want to have, have some cream liqueur with us? You can't, you can't just say liquor when you, you got to pronounce all Cream liqueur. This. It's liqueur. Yeah, uh, I, I got a glass for you right here. Go, take get, this one. I'll look. make another one. Go, take okay. this one, take this one. All right, on. we ain't ready can. yet. We're going to toast all together. Wait, wait, wait. You can't shoot? Nothing. This is the taste test right here. Okay. He brought it to a mirror. The bottle's empty. We okay. got a room full of black folk. <laughs> now, if this shit turned into a party after this, <laughs> then we know. There I you like go. the sound that it makes when it comes yeah, out of the bottle. You, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Everybody it. got a glass? We good? We straight? Everybody come over here, man. Let's do it on camera. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah, let's okay. do it on camera, right, man. Because right, right, we right. celebrating you coming right, to America right, right. To, promote, to promote your exactly. product. <laughs> like as if this, the first time I'm here. No, I'm just saying you came over here to be on the black market. This, yeah, even yeah, if you yeah. didn't on camera, we're going to say that's the I only reason the you love. came. I appreciate the love. I appreciate the love. Hey, man, black people worldwide. Cheers, 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 cheers. Worldwide. Right, get your ass in there. Cheers, man, cheers. Worldwide. Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Thank you. That's oh, that's good. That's good. That sound. That's that's something you'll be sitting around sipping on Christmas, cussing out your family. <laughs> that's good. And like I said, this is the like for sure cream liquors. Everybody know it's Christmas time, fall stuff like that. But. We found ways to use it like all year long, right. you know, and that's the reason I was telling that people use it in the coffee as a creamer and stuff like that. And it's, you know, it's, it's been, honestly, it's been really overwhelming to see like the love that people have been showing us, you know, ever since we, we've won our medals and, uh, you know, we won the double gold at the New York uh, Spirits uh, International Competition. Oh, what? Yeah, we did. We did for the taste of the product. And I think for us, it's just like a testament to the work that goes into crafting uh, a, a spirit that, you know, is there to take, you know, to be an alternative to the, to the big guys. Like we All said right, we'll check this out. We're going to go, hey, can, who, who a real drinker in here? We got any real drinkers? <laughs> Give me some feedback. What you think? Would, Thanks, you, would you purchase this for the holidays with the family? All right. Who else? Before who else the holidays. Here? Thanks, my brother. Thanks, sir. What you got me, lady? It's real smooth, real sweet. It don't have that bite. It, it, you know what I'm saying? I can see how you could easily get towed up off this. Exactly. Especially if you're sitting down. Like if you, and then you get up, you're like, whoa, wait a minute. It's got that comeback. Right now, what's really like um, a drink that's really popular when you go into bars is, is an espresso martini. Yeah. So, <laughs> so you when you do, his soul when you said that, when you do, when you mix LS with a regular espresso martini recipe. It takes it to an, another level. Most of the hotels and bars that we're in, they have some type of an espresso martini variation with LS cream on top of having, you know, other drinks. We do variations of other cocktails like the old fashioned drink. We do a creamy old fashioned using LS cream also. So we find ways that we want to elevate the conversation about cream liqueurs because that's 
our market, that's our, that's our thing. But also, like I said, want to find ways for people to drink it, you know, all year long. You know? What other, you got any other flavors? No, this is the only flavor. So, because some strawberry are hit with this. Oh, 100%. But it's really simple to mix it with a strawberry flavored vodka or, you know, like a little grenadine or something. Yeah, but, uh, but w uh, a recipe that we have on our website is called, it's one of my favorite, it's called the Spicy LS Coco. It's uh, two ounces of LS cream, one ounce of mango flavored vodka, one uh, ounce of uh, coconut flavored rum, and a, a dash of Tabasco in there. You shake it with some ice, you pour that, I'm telling you, blow your mind. What's I the did website? it on the, on the you say you got podcast. like recipes on the website? Yeah, yeah. CreamLS.com, cocktails. We have we have the store located uh, store locator there. You have the whole story about the brand. You know, we we you know we we get people equipped. And on our Instagram page, we have like uh, like milkshake recipes. Like we have all sorts of stuff. What's the there. IG? Uh, LS Cream Liqueur. So it's one word. Uh, so, but just write LS Cream, you're gonna be able to find it, but uh, with the liquor, yeah. I don't think you brought enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, cause you gotta, you gotta leave me some of this. Cause Listen. when I said, some strawberry will be in the mitt, my man in the back said. <laughs> 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 no, nah, but uh, I mean, uh, that's not even a question. You guys are gonna have some bottles, no, no worries, you know? Bro, I but. can just see myself being somebody daddy with this right here. <laughs> in a cup about this out. Y'all going to snow? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Them kids go there, they don't show. Yeah, I can see that. I can most definitely see it. Well, yeah. look, we appreciate you stopping through here, putting us up on game. Mm -hmm. You gave me a nice little drink. 100%. 100%. That, that uh, you know, if you got a nice lady over there, she want to sit on the couch with her socks on or something. And that's what, one of the reasons, you know, sometimes when you finish work, it might, you don't want necessarily to have, like, a big glass of vodka with some cranberry or something like that. Like, a glass of LS on ice sometimes is going to do the trick, you know, yeah. so... That's I can see be. this being, you know how they have like dessert wine? Yeah. Yeah, this would be hitting good with a nice little pastry, some blueberries yes. on some, yes. something like that. Yes. Some with some crispy edges. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'll eat this with some with some kind crispy of fruit edges. with some crispy edges. This nigga, you don't see his face, you're like, hell yeah. Yeah, maybe like a, a old piece of something, I don't know, but one of them look, some one of them fruit field type. Situation a little Danish, <laughs> or if you're from the hood, a little honey boy heated up in the microwave and go good. You feel me? A little honey boy with the icing on it. Yeah. But I ain't gonna hold you too long. But I really appreciate you stopping through and putting us up, man. Thank so you, thank you, drop, man. Drop uh, your socials and everywhere yeah. one more time so they can know how to get For in touch sure. with you. For sure. So like I said, it's uh, creamls.com. Uh, to find the website, you have the store locator there, mm, mm, um, and LS Cream Liqueur in one word on Instagram. You're gonna find, you know, all the information in one there. You're gonna see the growth of the brand. Uh, you know, we have a vlog also where we show the behind the scene of all the work. Last time I was here with uh, on the Poor Minds podcast, like uh, I had my guy there following me too because we want to we want to let people know also that it's not this this industry is really close to us, to our community, and we're fighting to, to have more space, uh, you know, in the categories, and it's, it's a uphill battle because they have families, like, it's ever since prohibition, basically, that's been like that, you yeah. know? So you want to get into the state, you have to have distribution. Most and, definitely. Uh, and people need to remember that, so the, the, that's why people need to support, like, even if you don't drink, buy it, give it as a gift, you know? Uh, I'm going to be your American plug, bro. Y'all need, <laughs> need a brand ambassador in America. I'm plugged in. My guy. All right, man. Hey, man. My back's starting to sweat. That's how I know this shit good, man. Hey, let me ring that bell one more time. Let them know. There's some money on the floor, man. Cheers, man. Thank you.